You know, man, one of the people that I've studied concerning men's ministry, and I've read his books, was Edwin Lewis Cole. And Ed Cole had some, some sayings, and one of his sayings that they call them Coleisms, but is powerful. It says, manhood and Christlikeness are synonymous. And really, that if you're, the more you are like Jesus, the more of a man you really are. And I want to show you an example, or maybe give you one from the book of John, chapter 18. This is Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. He's prayed. He's prayed three times, talked with the Lord, said, Lord, if there anybody be, if there be any other way, let this cup pass from me. And then it says here in John 18 that Judas came and he came with soldiers and he came with the religious leaders. And Jesus, seeing them come, did not sit and cower. He didn't sit there in fear. He didn't try to run away. But what he did is he went and he confronted them. He went and went straight to them and said, whom do you seek? Who are you look, looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, I am he, the, the Bible says, but the he is in italics. It means it was added by the translators. And, and he said, I am. And everybody fell to their face. And I mean, that's a powerful story. But the way I'd like to challenge you with this is this. Jesus saw his problems, saw his difficulties, saw his challenges coming to him. And he didn't cower. He didn't sit in fear. And oh my God, they're coming. And I just don't know what I'm going to do. He didn't run from them. He stood up as a man and faced his challenges head on. My challenge to you today, men, how are you ch facing the challenges in your life? Are you ch facing them the way Jesus did? Are you standing up to them and say, who you seeking, what do you need, how can I help? Are you willing to stand up and face those challenges? Are you sitting back cowering? Maybe hoping your wife will deal with them or maybe hoping somebody else will deal with them. Maybe your parents will deal with them. But what a man does is he faces his challenges head on. He stands up and says, what can I do? What do I need to do? So I want to challenge you today. Be Christ-like. Find your challenges that you've been running from and begin to face them and see what God does.